click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. So hello friends and today we are going to study the next new numerical the problem number two based on the system properties. In previous numericals also we have find out the same thing here also we are going to find out the same thing whether the system is memoryless, static or dynamic you can say causal or non-causal the second one is linear or non-linear stable or unstable so we have a list of system properties and we'll find out the question will satisfy that property or not right now my question is y of t equals to e to the power t x of t t into x of t the question is y of t equals to exponential to the power t x of t and what we are going to find out whether the given system is mirrorless that is static or dynamic a causal or non-causal, stable or unstable, linear or non-linear and time variant or invariant. We will solve all these parts one by one. So first one is memoryless. Now the question is y of t equals to e to the power t x of t. The first one that we are going to find out whether the given function is memoryless or memory or you can say static or dynamic. What is important to find out static or dynamic? The st in static system, output always depends on the present input only. Output always depends on the present input. Whereas in dynamic, it also depends on past and future. So dynamic will count present, past and future. Whereas static will only count the present input. Now look at here. The first what we are going to find out the memory list. Now here the y of t totally depends on x of t here x of t is not delayed or advanced which means the output is depends only on the present input hence you can say that the given system is memoryless or a static system so how to write the equation answer here the output totally depends on the present input hence the system is static now the second one is causality and non-causality causality same thing we are going to do we will compare the time value that is whether the output depends on present or past in case of causal output only depends on present and past whereas in non-causal it also depends on future now look at here in case of y of t the current question output only depends on present that already I have told you the output is completely depends on present input which means the given function is a causal system because it is independent on right now here no future values are given which means the function is causal only so here we are going to again write here the system is causal because output completely depends on the present input only so this is the way to write the answer in case of memoryless and in case of causal here the question only output depends on present that's why it is classified into memoryless and a causal now the third point is we are going to find out the stability how to find out stability let's see now the third question is we are going to find out the stability now there is one simplest way to find out the stability as here no unit step function is given so we are not able to apply the time limits also but there is one simplest way to find out the stability simply add t tends to infinity if we place t tends to infinity then look at here here we have exponential value with positive power as the x we have exponential with positive power means what your exponential function will vary its amplitude with respect to time the amplitude of exponential function varies with respect to time means what the amplitude at t equals to infinity the amplitude is also infinity means what if we substitute t equals to infinity in the exponential part the y of t will also gives infinite response and using this concept we can say that the given system is unstable because if i substitute t equals to infinity in both these th cases the y of t will get the will receive the output as a infinity because of e to the power we have t and e to the power if after substituting t value infinity e to the power infinity is always infinity hence 
the system is unstable now the fourth part is linearity we'll see how the function well this function will support the superposition theorem or not will so, so we'll apply superposition theorem on it superposition principle so first of all we are going to find out the system calculation what system is actually going to perform look at here as i told you earlier in uh, explanation in cis uh, linearity uh, the system input is always pure the system input is always pure but the system will create some changes or apply some changes on or produces some effects on x of t now the system is given e to the power t or x of t is placed on exponential part this this is your system which will apply exponential term where the your x, x of t will be directly placed on its power now that's why you will get e to the power t x of t so when you apply different types of input then the system will perform the same action with as it is performed with x of t so we'll apply different types of input to apply a superposition principle let's see how the system how the system responds now the system is having exponential term if we apply input then the exponential term directly placed at its power on its power now we are going to perform two different operations like first of all we'll apply x1 of t as an input if we apply x1 of t as an input separately then you will get y1 of t as an output and y1 of t output is e to the power t into x1 of t now y2 of t if we apply second input x2 of t then output of this x2 of t is y2 of t and what you will get e to the power t x2 of t as the output of y2 of t what is y3 of t y3 of t is nothing but the addition of two different inputs or you can say the addition of two different outputs produces by two different inputs this x1 of t produces y1 of t x2 of t produces y2 of t so y3 of t is nothing but addition of these two the output y3 of t is nothing but the combination of y1 of t and y2 of t so i have written y1 of t plus y2 of t we'll substitute the value of y1 of t and y2 of t respectively so y1 of t we have e to the power t x1 of t and y2 of t is e to the power t into x2 of t and this is my equation number one now as here the equation is applied or the input is applied separately and you have the result y3 of t which is combination of output of y1 of t and y2 of t which is produced by x1 of t and x1 of t respectively now what we are going to do is we are going to add these two inputs and we'll find out the output if that output is similar to y3 of t then system is linear otherwise it is non-linear what we are going to do here the input is applied separately now in the next part we are going to add both the inputs so let's see how to solve this next part so now we are going to add both the inputs at one time x1 of t plus x2 of t and here this input is going to be placed or applied on system the system will place this addition of these two inputs over here so y3 of y3 dash of t is now e to the power t into bracket we have e to the power t into bracket we have x1 of t plus x2 of t suppose if we split the order of this exponential term what we will get e to the power t x1 of t into e to the power t x2 of t now look at the both the equations both the equations are not similar with the y3 of t as y3 dash we have this two equation and y3 equation is just compare y3 of t with y3 dash of t is two different equations basically these two equations are similar but after comparing what you can say that y3 of t and y3 dash of t both are unequal unequal means the system is a non linear system so this is the way to find out a linearity on non linearity of the system now we'll find out the fifth part the last part of the system is time variance or invariance of system 
Let's see. Now, the last part of this numerical is invariant. How to find out invariant? The simplest way is first of all, just delay the input. Here, the system, as I told you, the system it consists of a to the power t. And the input is only x of t. In the first case, always delay the input. So here I'm going to write, only input is delayed by t. So what you will get? Only the input t is delayed by t. Now in second case, what we are going to do? We are going to delay or we are going to apply delay on system. When whole system is delayed means what? Now whole system is delayed by t means what? The system consists of e to the power t as well as the input which is applied on x of t. Now whole t, all the t will be delayed. So of course the y of t minus t is now can be written as this t will also delayed by t. Similarly this x of t is also delayed by t. Now just compare both the equations. What you can say that after comparing we have e y of t minus t that is when the input is delayed we, what you will get e to the power t x of t minus t. But when whole system is delayed what you have e to the power t minus t is e to the power t minus t into x of t minus t. So now you can say that both the equations are not equal which means the system is time variant system or else you can say it is not time invariant. You can write the output in two ways. You can say that the uh, this given system is not a time invariant or else you can say that system is time variant system. So these are the different ways and there are, there are different numericals are there to find out the different properties or to check the different properties. Now we will study the next numericals in next videos. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe with Ikeda for further videos. Thank you so much.